I absolutely love the outcome. It's very like kind of like glamorous, but not that glamorous if you know what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, beauties. Whoa, I'm out of focus. Why? Why? Hey beauties, what is up? And welcome back to my channel, you guys. I've been going in and out of focus with my camera, so I gotta play with my settings a little bit more just to stay focused within me. But anyways, on today's video, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and do my makeup. Now, I haven't worn makeup in a while, and the only time I wear makeup is when it's like an occasion, which is hardly because we're in quarantine. That's like once a month I've been doing my makeup. And ever since I got in um, the fungus, I really don't do makeup at all. And what I do is just really, really like makeup. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and prep my skin with the e.l.f. Putty one. This is actually one of my freaking favorite ones. Um, I have not tried to touch the one because it's a little bit pricey. And right now I don't feel like spending money on makeup when I have a crap load. So, with foundation today, I'm going to be using the Juvia's Palace. Oh, Juvia's Place. I don't know why I, say, I always say palace. Juvia's Place foundations. Now, I really do like both their liquid and their stick. So, I'm going to be using both. Ibiza? Mm, I don't know. It's the I-B-I-Z-A. I don't know how to pronounce things. I do apologize for that. So, this one, it's a bit kind of more on the yellow side. When I mean like a little bit goes a long way, I mean like a little bit goes freaking a long way look at this like it looks like full-on beautiful freaking coverage I'm gonna go ahead and place just a little bit more so I can finish on this side when I mean like a little bit goes a long way like I I'm not using a lot like I am using a little bit why I have never tried this foundation until now this has this foundation probably is like over a year that has been out and I never tried it and now it's like I love this foundation. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried this foundation or not. So I'm going to go ahead with Belovia and I'm going to go ahead and just kind of like highlight my nose, do the center a little bit. This one's just a shade a bit, like one shade up. And saying these are like very freaking full coverage. So a little bit does go a long way. We're going to go ahead and just... Alrighty now, so once we have this going on, we're going to go ahead and just add some concealer. I will be going in with the Naked Skin as well as with the Juvia's Place. I want to say Palace again. The Juvia's Place one, just because I did get this one in a really, really light, super, like, times two lighter shade than me. And um, I'm going to go ahead and buy more, to be honest, because... This foundation is actually pretty freaking good. I'm, I am really in shock. And then this one's kind of like my actual skin color. So, yes. We're gonna mix it a little bit. And that's how I do my concealer. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on with our powder. With our powder, I don't really have one that I absolutely love, love, love yet. So just, I mean, I'm gonna go with what I have. We're back. Guess who got her glory days? Ah, uh, okay. So let's get continue on. So I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my face up. Now, as you could tell, when I do my makeup, I really don't use highlight and then contour of cream. I like to use mine's more of a powder base. Um, I don't really mess around with liquid because I don't have a good blending skill, I want to say. It's just for me, it's kind of like more of an extra step that I feel like I don't really need it. So I love bronzing up. So I'm going to be using the, the Physician Formula, the Butter Bronze. It's actually one of my favorite ones. Now we're going to go ahead and apply a bit of blush. I don't really use blush because I feel like my complexion just doesn't look appropriate with blush. Next, we're going to go ahead and highlight our face. Now, I actually do all my highlighting before I do my eyeshadows and my eyebrows. Just because I don't really clean my eyebrows up, I just go ahead and just flare them out. So I'm going to go ahead and use Artist Couture. And this is actually one of my favorite ones. It's Illuminate. And um, I love it. Like, I love this one so freaking much. And I just kind of go in like circular motions. Go ahead, grab it. There is no regrets on buying this one. This is actually like my number one baby. I love it. I use it like... Even when I don't wear makeup, I just like putting it on a little bit, just, just to have it on. Mm. 
Okay, so we're gonna leave our eyebrows like that. I don't really feel them. I don't know, I kinda wanted to do some thicker eyebrows. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and just set our face. I'm gonna go ahead and use a Gerard's Cosmetics, and this one's the Mystify Hydrating one. Once I have that, I'm gonna go ahead with my Beauty Blender and just kinda like press it inwards. All right, so once we have done that, we're gonna go ahead and do our eyeshadow. Now with the eyeshadow palette that we're gonna be working with today, it's gonna be by the same brand of my foundation, Juvia's Palace. Juvia's Place, Juvia's Place. Oh my God, I keep on forgetting. I absolutely love this one, it's cute. I took this on the go on my purse because I like the fact that you could take it easily and you could do an eyeshadow whether you want it light or dark. We're gonna go ahead and just hop on this peach one right over here. We're gonna apply this all over our lid to start off with. I'm gonna go ahead and just go in with the darker brown that's there, tap off the excess and just work from the outside to kind of like in middle. Basically from my outer corner into the middle of my eye and we're working on the crease. All right, once we have intensified it, we're gonna go ahead and use the violet from Juvia's Place. And I'm gonna go ahead and just grab this purple right. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the purple down here and we're gonna put it under our eyes. We're gonna go ahead and grab the darker purple and we're gonna go ahead and just apply it on our waterline. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this orangey coral kind of looking one and I'm gonna put it on my lid right in the middle. Then we're gonna go back in with the nude one which actually one of the, the nude pad is my favorite one out of all of them and I'm gonna go ahead and grab the first one that's there which is kind of like this rose like gold pink I don't know it has like it's like it has like a beautiful undertone on it and we're gonna apply this in the inner part of our lid so for my lips I am gonna go ahead and use oh god anthro mm, don't know how to pronounce it but it's one of the darkest shades from the artist couture nude collection which is like one of my freaking favorite ones but we're gonna go ahead and apply this it's like so freaking cream and so buttery. I really love this shade so much. I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna go ahead and apply Shameless on top. And now we're gonna go ahead and do our mascara and our lashes because why the hell not? Ooh, Shameless has some mint in her. Okay. Alrighty, beauty. So I ended up putting on my lashes. Now, for some reason, it always happens on this eye. I'm gonna fix it in a bit. But this eye always has like the weird like tip here, which I don't get it why. But anyways, I went ahead and just put a little wing on it so my eyes could kind of like wing out. And I will fix this lash. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This actually is a pretty freaking long video. I absolutely love the outcome. It's very like kind of like glamorous, but not that glamorous if you know what I mean. <laughs> anyways, beauties. Whoa, I'm out of focus. Why? Why? Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried any of the Juvia's Place um, makeup. Her Their brand is like freaking amazing. But let me know in the comments down below what did you like about it. Like, have, if you tried it, what is your favorite product from them? I'll see you guys in my next video. And don't forget, be safe, stay safe. Love you guys.